Hey Scorpios, I'm Rodin. Welcome to Water Baby Tarot presented by Bombay Spirit Incorporated. This is part one of the Scorpio reading. This is going to be for Scorpios, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. This is a general reading, so they are timeless. Um, so if the, they are timeless, and they're also general. So just keep in mind that these messages are not going to be for everybody. I always talk about my meditative session before I get into the reading, and sometimes with what I pick up on in meditation, doesn't always come through in the reading because sometimes it's just confirmation that someone needs to hear. Okay. Excuse me, part two will be Scorpio energy focusing on feminine and masculine energy. I look at feminine and masculine, see how those are kind of playing off of each other, the dynamics at play. Um, if you are interested in that reading, go ahead and check out part two, which should be linked below. You can also find crystal recommendations and also general advice for Scorpios in that reading as well. Okay? All right, Scorpios. So first thing I was getting, I was getting a lot of pink, a lot of pink and a lot of magenta. And I, f it's, it's almost like Scorpio, you're discovering like a power you didn't know you had or you're discovering where a lot of your power really lies and I feel like it's power that hasn't been utilized I feel like it is around the heart space you're discovering well no you know how strong your heart is let's back up you know how strong your heart is the Scorpio heart is very loyal and has a lot to give sometimes too much to Scorpios on detriment Scorpios you already know that song and dance you have that t-shirt <laughs> right but sometimes when we have a strength like that or a power like that it can also be seen as a weakness and that's kind of what I'm getting here for Scorpios that you've had this feeling that like your heart almost has betrayed you a lot or that it is a weakness of yours but the reality is you just it's actually a power of yours quite a superpower and you just haven't utilized it properly to sit in that powerful place with it a strong heart can be very loving and compassionate but the flip side of a strong heart is resilience and stamina and having enough self-respect and love for yourself to put up boundaries where you need to and also um, being able to sit in that compassionate compassion in that same space this was a lot to me like Scorpios are moving into a lot of feminine power a lot of divine feminine energy at that for some of you and it feels really really good I feel like you are exercising your power you're exercising your boundaries I just keep getting exercise power 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 so it feels really good to me Scorpios so let's go ahead and pull some cards out for you and see what we get from us Scorpios oh okay Scorpio, 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 where are we starting? I actually feel drawn to the energy oracle cards for you guys, so we're going to start with that for my Scorpios. Any messages for my Scorpios? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Yeah, it's literally power of the heart as a superpower. It feels really good. <laughs> very, very feminine. But you feel really solid too. So I feel like a lot of you have been working on your masculine energy and now it's like feminine power is kind of coming up to the rise here because I do feel like you're very solid. You're very grounded, almost like a rock. That's your masculine energy at play, but it's allowing your feminine to now kind of come in and play a part here, which is really nice. Any messages for Scorpios? Summon rising Venus and Jupiter. Any messages for Scorpios, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter? Let me do one more. Okay. Any messages for my Scorpios, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter? I'm getting the word clarity a lot. Clarity, 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 clarity. Stepping into your power in this way, the power of your heart, I feel like it's actually giving you a lot of clarity and perspective on your path, which is kind of interesting. It's almost like you really needed to like own this power of yours because I think you're going to need it for where you're going and how you're going to move forward. There's also faith, having faith that's tied into that with your path. Yeah, embracing the power of your heart is actually giving you clarity on your path and how to move forward. Yeah, see, beautiful. Goddess of the moon, which is a high priestess energy. This is having intuition and clarity um, of what you didn't have before. Yeah, very, again, very much like a strong feminine power. Strong feminine power energy going on there. Very high priestessy. The more that you're getting in the power of your heart, the more your heart space is opening and the more clarity you're having of yourself and your own energy. I also feel a pushing out with your energy. Some of you guys are shielding more, almost pushing someone else, like other people's energies out. Some of you, it's one person in particular, but really like bubbling a lot, but not to like hide it's it's literally to bubble to like protect your energy that's what i mean it's like 
having really, really strong boundaries energetically and even needing to exercise that with people if you need to, um, but doing it in a very compassionate way and also being compassionate towards yourself when needing to do that. Very nice, Scorpios. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Any other messages from my Scorpios? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. As it pertains to this spread. Strong feminine power. Very, very cool. Any other messages for Scorpios? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Like, I almost feel like it's radiating out of your chest. Like this purple, pink sort of energy. You could be working with your higher heart chakra. Feels a little bit next level for my Scorpios. Any other messages for Scorpios? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter? Nope. Ooh, Scorpios. Journey in reverse? Oh, that feels, that feels hard. Um, yeah, damn it, with hostilities. Oh, Scorpios. I feel a tough turn in your path here. I think this is why the clarity of your path is so important, that the clarity of your path is being highlighted so much. With Journey in Reverse on hostilities, it almost feels like you're needing to take a detour or you're needing to turn left, hard left, hard left. Like, oh my God, something's getting in the way. Like, and it feels very sudden, but it feels like the clarity coming in here is exactly what you need to see that turn coming up, to see it, to know I need to make a hard left right here, right now. And I think it's something that's been hard for you to not only see, but also hard to accept because there might've been a part of you that's been sensing this, but there's something about the power of your heart that is really key to seeing this need to turn left hard, hard, hard left. Oh, overall, we have the sun in reverse, storm warning in reverse. And then door to personal healing and happiness in reverse. It almost has that feeling like you're going on a path and all of a sudden the bridge up ahead gives way. But you need to see that the bridge is out. You need to make that hard left so you don't fly off the cliff. It's almost like this feeling. But you need to see it. You need to see it. There's something with the power of your heart that's going to help you to see this. With goddess, of, sorry, I'm like, oh, like all of a sudden it's like, it feels so serious. <laughs> with goddess of the moon, journey in reverse, and hostilities, journey in reverse indicates that there is a delay. There's a delay on your path, or there is a change in your path, or there's something about your path that you're not accepting or that you're resisting. Hostilities is like a five of swords energy. It's conflict. It can be, I'm almost getting a little bit of a power struggle. It's also It can also be resistance from you or other people around you. Again, I keep getting like, you're you're on a you're on a road and the bridge up ahead is out, but you're not seeing it right away. And there's something about the power of your heart and getting into that space, getting into that ability to have really strong boundaries for yourself and that self love and respect for yourself as well as others, is going to give you that clarity to see that the bridge is out, so you can make a hard left. Again, for some of your intuition has been telling you this, but it's been a hard time seeing it or fully fully seeing it or fully accepting it. Overall, this is also kind of an interesting energy. We have the sun in reverse with storm warning in reverse, which is kind of like the tower, uh, with the door to personal healing and happiness. I keep getting this as like the bridge. Storm warning in reverse indicates that, that a change has already happened. That the bridge has already been, like, gave way. Yeah, like the bridge has already gave way. Hang, with, hang in here with me with the metaphor. But you're not seeing it with the sun in reverse. You're not seeing it. You're not seeing that that door is closed. You're not seeing that bridge is out. You need to see that that bridge is out. You are heading in a path and there's something about, there's something that has changed in your reality that that path is now closed to you. But you're not seeing it immediately. Underneath all of that though, we do have blossoming abundance and patience. Ooh, with the crown chakra purple purple. I love that. It doesn't mean that you're headed towards a bad place, Scorpio. It doesn't mean that you have to experience any struggle or that there, that the floor is going to drop out beneath you, especially with these three cards coming in here with blossoming abundance, patience, and the crown chakra. Again, that intuition, that insight, that clarity, again, all that purple pink energy with you as well. Um, Turning left, it might be a detour. The bridge might be out, but it doesn't mean that you're out for the count. It doesn't mean that you're not going to have success. It doesn't mean that you're not going to be okay. It doesn't mean that you're not going to be happy and healthy. You will be, but wherever you were heading, the bridge is now out. 
it's just time for a detour. Yeah, and then we have strategy. Wow, yeah, strategy with temple path. Getting back onto a, getting onto a path that is aligned to your happiness because where you're headed now, something is now out of alignment with it and you need to turn left, hard left, quickly. <laughs> hard left, quickly, and you just need to see how to do it. You just need to see how to do it. Mercury going direct is going to help a lot of people with this. Mercury going direct, which happens on the 20th. This is probably going to post before then. Um, that energy building up to Mars going into Gemini at the beginning of March is going to lead to a lot of breakthroughs for people and a lot of excitement with trying new things. And Scorpio, that's what I'm getting with this. You need to try something new. You need to try something different, even if it requires a plan at some point. Even, and again, be patient with yourself. Patience. Be patient here because it might take a while to kind of get to a place where you're feeling okay again. Now that you're going off of a path and onto a new one, it's not a bad thing. It's just necessary. It's necessary. Temple path is being aligned to a path that is for your happiness. Strategy is exactly how it sounds. It's it's acting accordingly and making some adjustments as needed to get onto that temple path here. And your, intu your intuition already knows it. It's just a matter of getting into yourself, getting into your energy, connecting to your heart space, really working on that superpower of yours that you have with your heart space. Even if you have to make some hard decisions. Some of you might have to make some hard decisions here with a strategy card and make that hard left and you'll be fine. Okay. Okay. Let's clarify. I think it's going to be kind of clear cut, but let's clarify. Um, I almost want to do all three of these for you. It just feels like there's a lot going on here, Scorpio. Um, let's look at Goddess of the Moon, and then we're going to look at hostilities. For Goddess of the Moon, I'm going to be using Santa Muerte. Very Scorpionic. Talking about Goddess of the Moon. Time of Goddess of the Moon from a Scorpios, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Time of Goddess of the Moon from a Scorpios, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Time of Goddess of the Moon from my Scorpios, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. We have, yeah, see, Seven of Swords in reverse. Whoa, the Chariot and the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Again, I just keep getting hard left, hard left, hard left, hard left, hard left, hard left. Chariot is a card of movement, travel. It can also be about be, uh, being triumphant in a situation. Seven of Swords in reverse. Um, Seven of Swords in reverse is kind of like we're visiting the scene of the crime for me. Like things that are happening in the background that are kind of shady or being intentionally hidden or just hidden in general are now coming to light here. Wheel of Fortune in reverse indicates that a major change is needed and I think that's what's happening. You're realizing the bridge is out and you need to act with the chariot card and you need to cause a change here. You need to cause a change here. The bridge is out, you need to turn left. Let's keep going. Hmm. Tell me more about Goddess of the Moon. Some of you need to face some fear in the midst of this too. I think that's more about connecting to your superpower of your heart. Your heart superpower. Um, Eight of Swords in Reverse just came out and I was getting facing fear with that. Facing fear with whatever keeps you from being in that very divine feminine superpower of yours. Again, the superpower of the heart is what I want to call it. Tell me about Goddess of the Moon. It's that large, loving, compassionate heart, but it's also a very resilient heart. Ooh, yeah. Eight of Swords in reverse with the Queen of Wands in reverse. Queen of Wands in reverse is an energy of um, anger. It's also jealousy. It's also an energy of feeling like, because um, fire can also be that attention energy, right? And the King of Wands in reverse and Queen of Wands in reverse um, can be a little bit of attention-seeking energy. There's something about the heart space here, Scorpio, where I think you do have some wounding around Queen of Wands energy. I'm also getting not really in the spotlight, like not having that like, not having that power, that commanding power of your space. That's what it is. Not having that commanding power of your space and the people in it, like not having commanding power of your domain when it comes to other people. You need to release any fears you have when it comes to that to get into that superpower of your heart. You need to release that and face that. Overall, we do have, oh, we got the Five of Cups. Uh-oh. With the Emperor. Let's 
Scorpio, I don't think this emperor is your energy. I think an emperor has really let you down here. Whether it's someone that you know currently or in the past, because some of you, this again, this is about facing your fear when it comes to being that commanding energy of your domain with other people and in your environment, like really exercising boundaries, really exercising that like that Mars energy, right? But with the Five of Cups and the Emperor, I feel a loss and grief around Emperor energy. It could be your own masculine energy needs some healing in this, but I feel like your masculine energy is very strong. I feel like it's very strong. I feel like if anything, it's more like, someone around you or someone that you have known or a pattern you have with emperor like types which can be father figures uh patriarchal figures people with like hierarchy or rank or title to their name or people who like to be in control or commanding um almost have put you in this place when it comes to your heart space of feeling i keep getting like a stifled heart or trampled 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 heart and how that relates to your boundaries yeah, dealing with these energies in the past or currently has really led you to struggle with exercising your boundaries and exercising command and dom and dominion over your domain and over your environment and over uh, people in your domain as well, like in your own territory. It's been very challenged and it's been very hard for you and I feel like it's wounded you. This really needs to be faced and overcome to really exercise how powerful your heart is. For some of you, these energies could have seen your power and also tri oh, trifled you. I don't know where that was coming from. Uh, <laughs> trampled, trampled over you to disempower you. It's a lot going on there, Scorpio. It's a lot. Uh, let's go ahead and move forward. So like I said, with Journey and Reverse and Hostilities, it could be that you are resisting this turning left, you are resisting this detour, or there is just a change in your path of some sort. Um, ooh. Or you're having just trouble seeing your path entirely. It's it's a little bit in that, in that range and different flavors for all of you in that range of things. Hostility can be resistance within yourself or by other people. Let's look at hostilities because I feel a little bit of a battle energy with that. Um, a little battle Mars-like with that. Not necessarily bad. None of this is necessarily bad. You just need to see the bridge. You just need to see that the bridge is out. You just need to see that. Um... God, there's like so much resistance in this hostilities card. So much resistance. I feel like it's a mixed bag of internal and external. And some of you, it could be the external mirroring back your internal resistance. It feels like a fight is being had or someone's putting up a fight. Um, we'll do spell casting for this one. Time on hostilities. Time on hostilities for my Scorpios, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Time on hostilities for my Scorpios, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Tell me about hostilities for Scorpios, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Am I taking those? Okay. Oh. We have Ace of Cups. Seven of Pentacles. <laughs> this is all about the power of your heart. And the Ace of Cups I'm starting to look at as like, can as a representation of the heart and the heart space. And here it is. Here's your heart right there. Um, then we have strength in reverse and the eight of cups in reverse. Here's the resistance. Here's the resistance, the lacking of strength, the lacking of courage, the lacking of the drive to push forward in any way you need to or take control over a situation the way you need to, exercising your boundaries in the way that you need to. Eight of cups in reverse also indicates emotional attachment or unable to move past um, emotions of the past. Yeah, this is just resistance, Scorpio. Here you are with your heart, the power, your superpower, you're evaluating 
um, almost like wanting to nurture that part of you so bad, like wanting to put more energy and effort into that part of you, that very feminine part of you, that part of you that is very loving and compassionate, but also needs to be very resilient and very strong in your own energetic boundaries and emotional boundaries, really, really wanting to go there. But there's something here that's causing resistance and like, and almost causing you to pull back from that a little bit, um, almost like having a very hard time facing that and accepting that part of you. And I do feel like it's this fear. It's this fear that lies in exercising your boundaries and exercising your your Mars like domain energy, but from a feminine place. Let's see what else wants to come out. Oh, okay. Tell me more about hostilities. Tell me more about hostilities for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Okay, last one out. We have Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Overall, we've got that Nine of Wands. Man, Hermit in reverse. King of Cups. Lovers in reverse. And Wheel of Fortune in reverse. That Queen of Pentacles in reverse energy. Queen of Pentacles in reverse energy is not being very grounded, not being very self-assured of oneself, also very distracted, very scattered. But again, Scorpio, I feel like your mask energy is keeping you very grounded and I can feel it. It's almost like a Zen-like practice of like sitting there, feeling really strong and grounded and sturdy and like trying to get into that feminine place, trying to get into that emotional place, trying to get into your heart space and face whatever's there so you can really exercise your superpower. I keep getting that. Like, so you can really find the power in what you've been perceiving as a weakness of yourself. It's like you've been perceiving that you have this like, weakness of um sensitivity or compassion but it's not a weakness it is a strength but there's a flip side to that strength and superpower which is being able to use that for yourself and exercising boundaries against others and your environment when you need to um, and being very captivating is not the right word commanding it's commanding being very commanding of what your heart needs and what your energy needs that's it being very commanding of that. But that Queen of Pentacles in reverse, I feel like that's an energy that's almost very distorted. That's part of the wounding going on here. That's preventing you from doing this. Then we have this overall energy, which is very interesting. We have this Nine of Wands, which is, I do feel like is, is it's weird. It's almost like a, a meeting energy. It's a mutual energy that you're sharing with you and another person, almost like the energy of, of a dynamic. Thank you. The energy of a situation happening between you and another person or excuse me, energies that are like this emperor energy that is related directly to your wounding around your superpower, okay? The way we have the hermit in reverse, the king of cups, lovers in reverse, and the wheel of fortune in reverse. There's a disconnect happening here. Scorpio, you're a king of cups. You are the king of cups card. It is your Scorpio major arcana card. It's interesting because I feel like this is the energy happening between you and another person, almost like you both are triggering each other. There's a lot of triggers going on here and a lot of like pushing of boundaries happening here. And it's, I feel like this is an opportunity to really help you to fully step into that superpower of yours. But stepping into that superpower, you're going to see that you need to make a change. You need to turn left on your path, wherever that leads you. Um, whether, it move, leaves, whether it moves you away from a person, a relationship, a situation, or towards one. With Hermit in Reverse, again, there's that disconnect of like needing to see, needing to see, needing to see. Needing to see the imbalance and need for a change and a shift here in your circumstance. But I feel, again, I know there's a lot of information. So I'm just, I'm getting a lot of information and I'm trying to like summarize it for you guys. So you guys don't get too lost in it. Um... But you and someone are getting into this very like tension, defensive sort of state. And I feel like what it's reflecting back to you is this wounding around your superpower and not being commanding of your space, not having healthy boundaries, um, almost feeling like your heart has been a weakness to you, but it's not, it's, it really is your strength. And if you are up to the challenge and facing this as you are literally evaluating your heart space and evaluating your divine feminine power, whether you're a man or a woman, doesn't matter. Um, to be able to set those boundaries, to be able to 
create an energetic bubble around you from other people's energies. And if you don't want someone in your space, you say, yeah, I don't want you in my fucking space, right? Really being commanding of your emotional needs. Yeah, really being commanding of your emotional needs. As you are doing this, as you are getting more in that energy, you're also getting a lot more connected with yourself. You're getting a lot more connected with your higher self and your own intuition. And there's going to be a lot of clarity that comes in about the path that you're on. Because the path that you're on has been forged by the version of you that has been carrying around these wounds, right? And, care, and the version of you that hasn't been exercising this, this superpower of yours. And now that you're able to, it's time for a change. Time to forge a new path. Time to take a detour. Time to go left. Even if it doesn't even if it requires a plan of action and it's it's slow building that is okay you're going to be fine but a change is needed here okay mm. yeah i do feel like you have people in your physical reality now that are helping to reflect this back to you for some you could be one person in particular but it's highlighting the wounds that has been exacerbated by emperor energies i want to say energies many people like many people that you've encountered on your path that have really seen your power and stifled you that have seen your power and wanted you to be small that have seen your power and maybe even taken advantage of your heart really encroached on your boundaries <coughs> <clears throat> But it's interesting because your own masculine energy feels really strong. <clears throat> it feels like you are very grounded and very stable. It's a it's a struggle for your feminine energy is what I'm reading here. Okay. Um, all right, Scorpios. That's it. I wish you luck. You can do this. You got this. You can handle this. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go into part two. I'm going to keep this spread in case it does connect in part two. But again, just to reiterate, part two is for masculine, looking at masculine versus feminine and seeing how that's kind of playing off of each other and what's going on. I feel like it's going to directly tie into part one because we had so much referencing of masculine and feminine here for you guys. Um, yeah, but if you're not interested in watching that, thank you for hanging out. Don't forget to check out Vimeo and Patreon, and I hope to see you guys very soon. Have a good night, guys. Namaste.